Let's continue with French idiomatic expressions. Let's start with combinative conjunctions. Firstly, we have et et, which means both and. For instance, je bois et du café et du jus d'orange le matin. I drink both coffee and orange juice in the morning. Then, ou ou, and soit soit. They both mean either or. For example, je bois ou du café ou du jus d'orange le matin. Je bois soit du café, soit du jus d'orange le matin. I drink either coffee or orange juice in the morning. Finally, ni ni means neither nor. For instance, je ne bois ni café ni jus d'orange le matin. I drink neither coffee nor orange juice in the morning. Many idiomatic expressions include the verb mettre, literally to put. For example, mettre en œuvre, to carry out, to implement. Mettre en scène, to direct a theatrical production. Another useful word is même. As an adjective, it means same. For instance, je voudrais la même chose, I would like the same thing. It can also be used to stress some information, for instance, following a tonic pronoun and meaning self. For example, je l'ai fait moi-même, I did it myself. As an adverb, it means even. For instance, il ne s'est même pas excusé, he has not even apologized. Quand même means just the same, nevertheless. For instance, il s'est quand même excusé, he nevertheless apologized. Si also has different meanings. If it is a conjunction, it means if. For instance, on peut aller au cinéma si tu veux. We can go to the cinema if you like. The expression s'il te plaît, s'il vous plaît, literally if it pleases you, means please. If si is an adverb, it means so. For example, j'avais si faim que j'ai mangé tout le gâteau. I was so hungry that I ate the whole cake. Finally, it is a positive answer to a negative question, whereas oui is the positive answer to an affirmative question. For instance, Tu n'aimes pas le chocolat? Si. You do not like chocolate? Yes, I do. Last but not least, encore. It means more. For instance, je voudrais encore du thé. I would like more tea. Again, for example, fais-le encore. Do it again. Or still, for instance, il fait encore pipi au lit. He still wet his bed. Ne encore means not yet. For example, es-tu déjà allé à Paris? Pas encore. Have you ever been to Paris? Not yet. Au revoir.